Right, uh, it's Gray again. Um, just continuing on the Node series tutorial that I just started, and now we're going to talk about the Layer Node. Um, well, it's a little bit confusing for most people, but if you think of it and you get to know it, um, it's actually the easiest um, of all nodes, especially if you're coming from uh, other programs, Adobe programs like Photoshop or these others, because it's more like a layer-based node. Whatever you do in the nodes uh, are actually based in layers. The only difference is uh, the arrangement and the output, the way the index arranges them and the way they output them is a little bit uh, like vice versa to Adobe where we say the topmost layer shows on top of the screen it's like the first priority and here is the opposite of that okay uh, if you don't understand what I'm talking about let's get started right uh, I have this node the serial node ungraded but now I'm gonna go into nodes add layer node what it does it's almost the same as uh, the parallel node and I explained about the parallel node in the other tutorial maybe you must check it out um, it's basically the same thing a, a bit but the only difference is this doesn't blend anything it actually choose the priority like for now uh, to make it more understandable maybe I should add one more node and if I go to nodes add layer node look at what it just did it connects all the way into your media pool, the original source, and it creates one layer mixer. Um, this is where it mixes all the layers in this node. And on this one, these are actually the inputs for it. So these are the inputs for it. Whatever this guy's output and feed to the layer mixer uh, is actually what you get. Like this is your final image out of this. Right. So if I may make this so obvious as green as it can be, this um, layer here, I know that you don't see anything right now. Maybe I should just disable it for a bit. Uh, you won't see anything as well, even if I disable these other guys. Okay, I'm using Control D to disable all this or to bypass them. Uh, it doesn't seem to change anything. Right, so I'm gonna delete these two and only have this one right now and I make it green to the max, right? Or if I would just say green all the way uh, on the offset. Right, and I will go ahead and add nodes, add layer node. And you see what it does, like it's showing us an graded image and this uh, gets most people frustrated, but it's really only logical if you think of it, like this node is the topmost node so think of it as these two are layers this is on top and this is the bottom the on, the one that is on the top uh, which is the bottom in this sense is the one that is showing on top you understand so if I may delete these two and um, try to refeed them uh, as this we, we, we can try to do this and grab this one as well just want to grab the output there and put in the input you can see that i have taken this green one put it on the bottom input this is the output of this green node here this serial node but i've taken it added to the uh, input of the layer mixer but on the bottom one which means the bottom one is the first to it and this one is the second one so if i may delete these and just make it uh, take it back as it was for example this was the bottom the topmost and this was like uh, the second right okay so if I may add one more of this say add layer node what it does again it creates another node basic you know a serial node with nothing in it but now this has more input so you can add as more uh inputs as you can put to it so let's say we want to make this one yellow i'll just use the offset just to make it completely yellow for now maybe you might not be able to see it but on this uh thumbnail on the note thumbnail you can see that it's a little bit yellowish in a way but you won't see anything still because this is th this is the topmost of uh of the layer sequence so in the layers of this layer mixer, it sees this the bottom one in our sense as the topmost layer. So if I change this one now, it's when you can see some change. Let's make that one blue all the way. There we go. You can see 
this in the blue uh, layer mixture but now you think of of this uh, a little bit confusing in a way like saying i have three nodes here i feed all of them into my layer mixer but it doesn't make any difference okay let's see about that it's because as i said it's a layer based node the one that is on top to it which is the bottom in our sense like the one that is on the uh the very bottom input to it is a uh, one that is seen as on top of all the nodes so it shows the color information of this into the output node which is the layer mixer right so if i have to mask these guys out say on the green one i'm gonna put a mask on it uh, i'll just use this mask basically uh, have a mask uh, I'll put it here top would be green I mean our uh, whatever color that was and this one I will add another one as well put it there and it will be our mid one and now in the blue I'll add another one as well now check that out okay the blue one on the bottom that's what I just did here so we have created a look right now but uh, what what is doing now is like you have created if you look into this node it's only showing us the topmost which is the green the other one is not showing because you have masked out and only selected the topmost same on the uh, middle one you have cropped the middle only that's what you want to see and the rest of it you won't see it and the bottom one as well but the tricky part of it is if i have to move this bottom mask to the top what does it do it's covering over this one because this is on top of this node like it's on this node tree uh, the layer mixer sees the bottom one as the top one so if i have to move around this node right here it will bypass the rest and uh, composite itself on top of all this and there's no way of blending uh, this la uh, these layers um, together as we do in the parallel node this one just covers the one on top Another important thing on the layer or parallel nodes, they're a little bit the same. <coughs> uh, they're a little bit similar, but uh, the only thing is the parallel nodes uh, actually blend the intersections together, while the, uh, the layer node actually just arranges them in order. But now the sweet thing about this too is that you can choose you can actually switch from one to another from a layer uh, from a layer node which is a layer mixer to the parallel node like this one is a layer uh, is a layer node and as you can see uh, we have top bottom and middle for example the way I arrange my mask but now if I morph this into parallel node you can see now it's a parallel node and it's, it's not really about arrangement anymore anything can be anywhere like I can have this blue one or the way maybe make it large there we go but now you can see it doesn't really cover them at all as it does because it's really counting the color information behind it which below this too you can see it's actually trying to blend them together you can see the top one there's a little bit color there and even the middle one seeing that there's actually other color channels and other um, masks but it's getting to blend them together but now in this one if i have to switch back to morph into layer mixer you'll see the top one will be all the way on top so that's just another quick feature which is really helpful and yeah you have to be using that in your workflow so basically that's the concept of uh layer nodes really helpful when you need it uh, like for that effect that we just created now like for this you know pretty easy and understandable i think i hope you guys learned anything from this uh from me See you next time. Thank you.